Welcome to Happenings, the show that brings you the good events that happen in your area. Stay tuned for the positive side of your local news. Pantano, and we are at outside of City Hall, downtown Philadelphia. Today is a very special day. We are kicking off the Hero Thrill Show 2006, which will take place on September 9th. Here's the man putting it all together, our good friend, Mr. Jimmy Benz. It's a great day. We have a lot of great people out to kick this thing off. Well, we couldn't do it without your help as the MC, and you're doing a fabulous job, and the, the talent that you've assembled here is second to none. Well, we have, of course, the police commissioner is here, the fire, the commissioner, fire commissioner, and, and the head of the FOP, and the head of the firefighters union, and all the members of city council, and all the judges from city hall, and all of our musician and uh, recording artists such as Charlie Gracie, the Orlans, the Snoop and Naz, uh, Jive Five, Jive Eugene Five, Pitt, Lou Costello, fabulous DJ, Mike Tierson, fabulous DJ. Uh, Jerry Blavitt, fabulous DJ, and the boss, Bob Pantano. How about Pete Shiroki from Famous Chickies and Pete's? Chickies and, Pete's. and we have uh, Cal Rubin, of course. Cal Cal Rubin come on, Pete. He Pete Shiroki, come on in here. Philanthropist. Here, here he is. There he is. Chickies and Pete's. Jimmy Bins, the main man. I predict today, and I, I know he doesn't want to hear this, there will be a statue here one day at Jimmy <laughs> Bins. Because what he does for the city of Philadelphia, the firefighters, the police officers, is unheard of. Well, this guy is, do doesn't have to do it. He just loves the city of Philadelphia. I'm glad that he even brings me along. I mean it. Ben, you're a good man. My man. You know, Jimmy, they, these guys put their life on the line every day. Yes, they do. And this is something special we're doing for them. And where does all the proceeds go now? They go to fund the college education for the children whose parents were killed in the line of duty, the firefighters' children and the police, uh, uh, police officers' children. We don't have to tell you anymore. What you have to do is purchase tickets, buy them for your friends, the your families. Down, ten bucks it's a only 10 bucks. It's, a, it's September 9th at the Wachovia Spectrum out, outside. outside. And then inside in the Spectrum was where the drill team will perform with Sylvester Stallone as the Grand Marshal. Wow. We're going to look forward to that. September 9th, mark down the date, starting at 12 noon, the Hero Thrill Show 2006. It's a hot day in Philadelphia, Charlie Gracie. Bobby. They got the soft pretzels in the shade, and they got us in the sun. <laughs> and the water ice is gone. gone. They ran the water ice from I John's didn't Water. Taste any? I just was looking for it, but you know what? Yeah. It's a great day. Yeah. The Hero Thrill Show coming up in September, well, and you're going to be there, right? Well, I'm happy to be a small part of it. Anything for Philadelphia, my heart was born and raised there. I'll do anything I can to help the city out. And I expect all you folks to be at the Spectrum on September 9th. We have a great show. Yeah, for the police and firemen, make sure you purchase your tickets. Buy some for your friends and your family. Right. And Charlie will be out there. Amen. The Orleans. We're going to we're going to announce the entire list. Wonderful show. And uh, I like that PBS documentary oh, on Charlie you. Gracie thank on you, Channel 12. Thank you, Jeff, Bob. I, I hope they run it over and over again because uh, there's always something you miss, right? Yeah, well, I've missed quite a few things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Gracie with us right here outside City Hall, getting set for the Hero Thrill Show, September 9th, Wachovia Spectrum Complex. I'll be there. He'll be there. Look for you. We'll be there. Don't forget to buy some of those tickets in September. Cherry Hill Nissan, located on Route 38 across from the Cherry Hill Mall, is a proud sponsor of Happenings TV. Cherry Hill Nissan, the friendly Nissan giant. Hey, Pete from Chickie and Peace Cafe here, and I'm here with my sports segment this week, and uh, I'm here with Vince Papali, uh, number 83 from the Philadelphia Eagles, and, and Vince, Disney Pixar Films, the movie Invincible, the name works, you work. Vince, what... When they came to you and said Mark Wahlberg was going to play you in a film about your life, what, what did you really think? Who? <laughs> really? I didn't know Mark Wahlberg. I didn't know all about him until I did some research, and then a lot of people told me about Mark, and then 
I realized, oh my goodness, this is the Mark Wahlberg, you know, from Marky Mark. And, uh, and, and here it is. Uh, it, it, my, my head just blew apart. Vince, how much, how much, well, the excitement in your life probably was you made the team, right. you know, then you wind up playing for, for the Eagles and it was great. And then this, this came about. Was the excitement similar, or if it was different, tell us how. Uh, the, the excitement, there was that joy. It wasn't the spontaneous joy that I had when I found out I made the Eagles. When Dick Vermeil came up and said, congratulations, old man, you're a Philadelphia Eagle. I mean, I just exploded. My, the scream was primal that you probably could have heard all the way out in Dallas. Uh, this has been more subtle because it's been an evolving process, and, and it's taken four years to eventually come to the culmination of the film. But um, it's still as, as exciting. And uh, I think right now it's even more gratifying because I can share it with more people. I can share it with my family, with Janet, Gabriella, Vincent. And, and because of that, and because the story's been resurrected, I'm reinvented. Um, it, it's as good as it gets. I like it a lot better this time. You know, I, I saw the trailer, and I was actually on the set one day with you, and I appreciate that. Um, your son is in the movie. He's wearing an 83 homemade Eagles jersey. Is that like the ultimate joy? I have three sons. Is that the ultimate joy watching your son going to be in a, a, in a Disney movie? That's amazing. My daughter is in the movie. I'm in the movie. Janet's in the movie. Uh, but Gabby and Vinny are in, in a featured scene. What you didn't see in the trailer was Gabby was the one that threw him that ball that wound up in front of the car where Wa Mark Wahlberg was driving. But uh, to see my children in the movie and for them to walk around and say, I am in a Disney movie, it's the coolest thing you can't imagine. So uh, it's as great as it gets. Well, well let me tell you. I couldn't be happier for you as your friend. I know your wife's proud of you. Everybody in Philadelphia is proud of you. You're going to bring a great light onto our city and to the Philadelphia Eagles, who we all love too. But I, I want to tell you something. If the people in Philadelphia, when this comes out and you watch this, if you haven't seen that film, which you probably will, I can just tell you from the trailer, and you'll hear a lot about it, this film's going to be great. And I'm going to let you go with one thing. E A G L E S would be nothing without Vince Papali. From Pete, Chicky, and Pete's, talk to you. Every Sunday, millions of fans experience the power and rush of NFL football. But in 1976, Body goes! Me. for the Philadelphia Eagles and a fan named Vince Papali, Vince, we've had some rough times, you and me. Oh, things are going to turn around. It was time to do something. Welcome the new head football coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, Mr. Dick Vermeil. That had never been done before. This coming Saturday, Philadelphia Eagles will hold open tryouts. Now. You got to try out this weekend. Nobody's trying out. He's 30 years old for one thing. The Eagles' biggest fan. So the one where Vince runs around everyone. Oh, man, my car! <laughs> is about to take a shot at a dream. Even if you're down there for one hour, you're down there. What brings you out here? Would it be an eagle, baby? How we doing, AC? I've seen glaciers move faster. Where'd you play your college ball? I didn't play college ball. You mind me asking how old you are? If you don't mind me asking how old you are, coach. Shocking news from today's tryout. The Eagles have decided to invite one man to training camp, Philly's own Vince Papali. -E -E Eagles! In 1976. To make this roster, you must throw away all fear. A 30-year-old bartender. Excuse me, my name is spelled wrong. Nothing personal. But is it really going to matter? Who played only one year of high school football. You ain't going nowhere! Tried to become the NFL's most unlikely rookie. Am I supposed to run all this? You can't wear quarterback pads. You won't last a week wearing those. Nothing personal. It's really going to matter. Inspired by the incredible true story. The Vincent! You need to show me more than that, Polly! This summer... You have a story, my friend. One man is pursuing an entire city's dream. Papali is not making this team, and I am not going to be the laughing stock among the owners. When I told you not to get your hopes up, didn't mean that I wasn't. Mark Wahlberg, Greg Kinnear. Let's go to work. Invincible. <laughs>